All right, awesome artist. So uh, today we get to make our model magic fox or polar bear, okay? And so we're gonna see how to do both and you're gonna choose which one you wanna do. Look at that cute little tail, okay? And so, depending on which one you're gonna start with, you don't have to use the exact same colors that I am. If you wanna use other ones, that's totally fine. Um, so we have our model magic and it totally air dries. So it's like clay, but we don't score and slip it together. And it's stretchy and it goes back together. I can roll it, I can manipulate it, which means like move it around, make it do fun things, all right? So I'm gonna use orange for the fox and I wanna keep it 3D. Okay, so we want to keep it 3D. We don't want to flatten out and try and do a fox like this. Do you guys see the difference there? Because that's just going to, like, if I try and put little ears, like, it's just going to fall apart. Okay, so we want to keep it 3D, which means I can measure in height, width, and depth, how far back it goes into space. All right, so I'm going to start with this shape for both creatures, both fun animals. Okay, kind of like this little cylinder-ish, squishable-ish, shape-ish, okay? And notice they a lot of them will be in these bags unless you need the teacher to open up a new packet. We will help you do that if you need to open up a new one. You just wanna make sure that they totally click shut. I sometimes like to press it up against my side or, you know, stomach area, make sure that it closes all the way. Okay, and if you need an adult to help you, you can ask one of the teachers. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take out some of the white too. Oh, the little guy rolled away. Okay, and some of the Model Magic, the white, just you just need to kind of tear it a little bit more to get it to be more movable. It's just a little stubborn. Some of it's not. I, th I think it's just the bin that it, it came in. And so I'll go ahead and I'll make that same shape for the polar bear. Okay, so that's the first step. Okay, just like that. Now we get to make the head shape. So I already had a little extra of the white here. And even for the fox, we're gonna do a pretty similar thing. Let's get that out, okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a sphere. So I'm gonna go roll, 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 like that. I'm gonna put on the little head. Okay, if you wanna start doing any pinching, you can. I'm not gonna do too much, just a little. Once it's stuck, it's pretty stuck. So don't try and pull it off, it, it'll stretch out a little bit. So, you know, you can always change it because once it's stuck, it's stuck. If you do have to pull it off, you can reshape it. So you would take it off. So let's say if I didn't like that, I would just go and then if it's stretched out, this one actually didn't stretch out that much and I would reshape it. All right, let's get the polar bear's fun little face on here. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do ears. So for ears, and I'm gonna smooth that out too. For ears, the polar bear's ears are more rounded. He has more rounded ears. All right, the fox has more pointy ears. So for the polar bear, I'm gonna go ahead and make these little rounded ears. Little round ears, okay, because he's a bear. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Go ahead and get those round ears if you're doing the bear. All right. Oh, he's gonna be cute, really cute. Okay, my ears a little bit bigger than the other one. That's totally fine. Every bear's gonna be different. Every fox is gonna be different, right? And that is good because that is why we're so cool. We're all so different, all right? So now I'm gonna get the fox's ears on here. We're gonna go ahead and this time I'm gonna pinch like a Hershey kiss kinda. And then I'm gonna, do, do, do. all right. I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger to match the other one. Pinch, pinch, okay. And put it on there. Okay, cool, cool. I could even make my, my fox looking like, ooh, I'm confused, what is that? All right, <laughs> if you wanted to tilt the head. All right, and now I can go ahead and put in their little snout, their little no noses, okay? So I'm gonna get a little bit of white and I think I might need a little more orange for that. So I'll get a little bit of orange. Notice I kind of started with a marshmallow amount. 
for the top two. That's kind of what we want is that marshmallow amount to get started. That way we don't run out for other friends. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, gonna start blending in the nose with the rest of the face there, okay? All right, I think it's coming along good. And then I'm gonna go ahead. It looks a little different right now because we don't have the nose. All right, but then we'll get that nose on there and we'll get our fox all ship shape. Okay, and you can always shape it and change it as you go along. That's the fun thing about art. All right, let's get our cute little polar bear nose. Snout, I should say snout. It's not technically the nose, it's technically the snout. Okay, I'm just kind of smearing that, blending that in there. I think that's perfect actually. Okay, cool. And so now we're gonna go ahead and think about any details. The fox has a little more details on here, but before we do that, let's do the legs actually. So that way they can walk. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a little coil-ish coil rolling. It's going to be a pretty small coil, but instead of going roll, 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 slow motion, all right, we're going to go back and forth like that, and it's going to create a coil of model magic, okay? And so I want it to be the same length, roll, roll, roll. So I didn't put it on yet. I like that there. I'm going to do a little bit less on this one. And then I'm going to put the little feet on, He's just chilling, put the little feet on there. Okay, then we're gonna put the little feet on this side, like that, and then I can add the tail. All right, we're gonna do the same thing for the polar bear, except we're gonna see the tail kind of covers the back legs of the fox. On the polar bear, we're gonna see all the feet. So you need, the front two are gonna be a little smaller. So I'm gonna roll, 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 okay, and then the back, legs are gonna be a little bit bigger. So these are gonna be the front ones and I roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. And I'm just gonna get a little more clay for the back legs here, let's see. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, maybe a little bit more on that one there. So I'm gonna add more. It's really easy to add more clay or take clay off, you just kind of pull it off. That looks good. Okay, so now I can stick on the front legs first. Cute little polar bear hanging out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make it look like our friend is sitting, kind of like that. All right, maybe if you wanted one paw waving, you know, you could have one paw waving up like that. It's totally up to you. Um, I guess I'll do it, kind of like it. All right, I'll smear the back legs in. The polar bear is waving. Hey guys, what's up, what's up? Here, let's put a paw, I'm gonna have it. Hmm, I wonder if I should have the back leg waving. No, I like the front one waving. Okay, hey everybody. All right, looking cool. And so I'll just make sure that the polar bear can sit up so that way he doesn't fall down and looking good so far. Now, let's get the tail on the fox. And then we can add any Sharpie details and any fun other color layers we wanna add. So we'll show how we do layers. So now we're gonna do a long coil for the tail here. And I'm gonna spinch, and it's gonna come around like that. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, my tail. Okay, let's get your tail on. Almost forgot, little polar bear. You need that. Okay, just like that. And now I can show you how to do layers. I'm not gonna do any layers of colors on my polar bear because I just wanted it like a polar bear. But if you wanna add any fun layers, you can. I'll show you how to do layers like the fox, how we have layers of white on there. And so I am gonna flatten these pieces out. I am. So I'll flatten these pieces out like that. So that way it does an extra layer. And those are flat pieces. I know how I said earlier, we didn't want flat pieces. But in this case, we do. Because they're going on a piece that's already 3D. I can put on his little nose like that. And then I can put on his side um, markings too. Kind of coming around 
I might kind of roll them out and then squish them down. Roll them out and then kind of squish them down. And then I can put them on the side of the fox. Okay, and I can put them on the side of the fox here. All right, fun, fun. And now, I just want this to come down a little bit more. So just boop, okay. And if I wanted a little bit of any fluffy fur down here, maybe I could, I didn't do that on my other one, but maybe I'll do it on this one, just for fun. Keep your head on straight, Mr. Fox. Okay. There we go, and maybe a little more fluffy fur. It's up to you. You can add your own fun details that you want on your animal, okay? And I also want to do a layer of white on the tail. Little tail tip there. Oh, is he gonna tip back? Oh no, he just did a little bit. All right, so let's add a fun little layer. And I'm gonna even do a little more curving with it, like that, okay? Ah, I like it. I'll make sure you can sit up straight though. Okay, now the next step is we can add any details with a little bit of Sharpie. So we'll make sure he sits up straight. Now we can, with a little bit of Sharpie, we can add any little details. So I'm just doing a little fur in here, a little bit of the feet markings, and a little nose, whiskers, all right, and the eyes. One, two. Good, 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 good. All right, look, now we got a little fox, okay? Um, <laughs> it's kind of fun. All right, so we got our two fox friends, and now I can do that on my polar bear as well. All right, so I can put the little polar bear nose, put his little mouth on there, add in the inside ear, add in the eyes. There's the polar bear eyes. Okay, and then I can add in his little paw markings. All right, maybe if you had extra time, you could, you know, give him a little snowball. He could be holding up or throwing or something like that, you know, catching a fish, all right? Um, but yeah, so that's how we do our model magic polar bear or fox. I hope you have fun creating your creatures. All right, bye awesome artists, we'll catch you later.